anybody have a question? Just raise your hand. Let's see if we have any questions. Oh, do we have one more? Oh, yes, actually, we do have just a little bit of time. Yeah, thank you, Larry. Uh, Dave, you had a request. Good afternoon, uh, good morning, I should say. My name is David Arredondo. I am vice chairman of the Lorain County Republican Party. And I've been attending Tea Party meetings since you first started a journey or a meeting in 2010. And I recognize a lot of the faces here. I want to welcome uh, Dan and uh, Sherry. And uh, want you to know how it feels to go to a UAW candidate tonight. <laughs> The only difference is that uh, our group here is uh, much more uh, respectful and uh, welcoming. So uh, I hope you feel respected and welcome here. I want to take a couple of minutes to speak on behalf of our entire ticket from the top down. But before I do, we spoke about our movie, Benghazi, which the County Republican Party is hosting tomorrow at the Amherst Cinema. $5 tickets. We begin at 4 o'clock. I want to see all of you there. On the 22nd, we're going to have the uh, one of the heroes of Benghazi, Chris Toronto, uh, Chris Tonto Peranto, who will be speaking at Lorain County uh, Community College. You can get your tickets through Lorain County Community College, and I want to see you there as well on the 22nd. Uh, I was asked to speak on behalf of Donald Trump. Now, those of you who know me know that I was a Rubio delegate, uh, designee, and uh, my man didn't make it. And then when Ted Cruz uh, was virtually the only guy standing uh, before Donald Trump, I was backing Ted Cruz. Well, now we see that uh, Donald Trump, with the massive uh, 14 million votes, was able to gain the nomination of our party. And I am here because as Vice Chairman of the Republican Party and speaking on behalf of our leadership, we endorse our entire party from top to bottom. There is no question about our backing of Donald Trump, Krista Marinero, Connie Carr, Jesse uh, Tower, Don Larson, Will Spiegelberg from top to bottom. We are backing all of our candidates. Now, don't pay attention to some of those who are so-called Republicans who are not supporting our candidates. We just can't accept that. And because of that, what we are bound to have is discord within the party, and within our, our rank and file. This is not happening. We have an enthusiastic group of Republicans who are out there working on behalf of our entire ticket, beginning with Mr. Trump. Uh, if I can tell you what is at stake here, it's been mentioned by, by uh, Tommy, Senator Portman's representative, the Supreme Court. You know, the never-Trumpers don't get it, that the next president is going to appoint every Supreme Court nominee. And although we may stop that person now, that's not going to happen uh, if Hillary Clinton is elected president. The second thing I want you to know is the president controls the entire bureaucracy. All of these administration uh, offices, the Veterans Administration, all of those are controlled by the uh, bureaucracy. And then the last thing I will tell you is that the federal judges, not just the Supreme Court, all of those are appointed by the president. And if we have a democratic president, you see what we're going to get. More of we've had the last eight years, another eight years of that. And if that's what you want, then you go vote for Gary Johnson or Hillary Clinton. But if not, vote for Donald Trump and all of our entire Republican ballot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.